Planet Ise confirmed. Departing high density space at 1203. Set the coordinates to T50321. Roger. Putting Ise on screen. Something's wrong with the gravitational readings. There's a giant energy wave approaching us, sir, at high speed. The magnitude is 40.3 quadrillion joules, sir. Turn the ship about. Fire thrusters. Full power right away, and give me some warp coordinates. Look alive, people. Three, two, one. Activate anti-shock. Raise defense shields. SD-346. An unknown power threatens to hurl us into a new age of civilization. Is it the will of the gods? Or just the whimsy of fate? Whatever it is, the human race continues to advance into the great unknown, into what they called the Star Ocean. I'm bored. Hey, that's a good thing. It means all's well. What about Millie? What do you really think about her anyway? Hmm? What do you mean? Uh, let me give you a friendly warning. That girl's a total scatterbrain. She doesn't listen to anyone. <gasps> She's just a total na- <laughs> uh, Millie! <laughs> listen. I, uh, meant... <laughs> you jerk! Yeah. If you've got time to complain about me, you've got time to work! There's nothing to do around here, Millie. Why don't you go out on a patrol, then? Come on, I'll join you. We can all do it yeah. together! All right. Roddick, you come with us, too! Uh. It's settled, then! We'll all go together! that we need. Oh. I thought there wasn't supposed to be anyone here. There weren't any life forms here, Captain, when I scanned the area. Who are you? What do you want? Have you come here to take the herbs away from us? Where did you come from? Look, you don't have to be so... Stay where you are! Uh, ...so afraid. Uh... Well, that didn't work. Who are you? Where are you from? You're dressed really weird and I don't trust you! Well, you see, my name is Ronix J. Kenny. How can I explain this so it makes sense? Captain, huh? allow me. <sighs> my name's Elia Silvestri. And please, before you say anything, I want you to know that we're not your enemy. We're here to help you. Uh... uh... the gatekeeper. Your request has been granted. Let us open the gate to the past. We did it. We need to leave our weapons and communicators here before we enter. If you bring them along, you'll bounce off the gate. Well, here we go. I hope that we're not making a mistake by entering the gate, because once we go inside, there's no turning back. Right, here we go. <gasps> Just hang tight, Dorn! We're gonna save you, but you gotta hang on! Okay. <gasps>
Thank you, Roddick. Are you sure you're all right? We must hurry, the gate is... <gasps> I'm happy that I got to travel with Yoshua and everyone else. There's a reason for all of this. Aerith, what is it you're trying to say? What I'm trying to say, my brother, is that I know you can avenge our parents' deaths. But now, I'm afraid I'm a little tired. <gasps> I only hope this will atone for my sins. Forgive me, Yoshua. I suppose this is gonna be goodbye for good then. Yeah, but I may come back here and pay you a visit. Let's just hope it's a friendly visit the next time. But I do hope you two will come and visit us again soon. Just give us a little warning next time. We will. I still think Roke would be better off as an undeveloped civilization. I think that's best for your planet. Agreed. Getting developed means having air pollution, contaminated water, chemicals in your food, and losing your forests to industry. There's nothing positive about it. Oh, I think there is. Uh, huh? Well, for one, we wouldn't have had the chance to meet you guys. And we wouldn't have gone on this amazing adventure. <laughs> Don't worry about us. We are going to make Roke even better than before. Yeah, well, we can't wait to come and see what you've accomplished. Hmm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. I'm glad I had the opportunity to work with all of you. Yes, we're glad too, but the real adventure for us is only just beginning. Huh? 